luckily, it seems like uh, over the past couple of decades, it's really become part of our visual culture. I think generally people are, are a lot more open to having an illustrated building. You know, it's, it's just, it's more interesting to look at. And I think people kind of get it. I've done art ever since I could pick up an instrument and make marks with it, but my my main thing is was comics all, all my life. Um, and eventually that that grew into uh, fine art as well and but I never I never abandoned the comics part of it. Um, when I paint, I paint really big uh, on canvases and boards and, and things of that nature. and it started getting so big to the point where street art was really the next biggest canvas to do it on, honestly. A lot of times it's really, to me it's good for working out an idea as I go. Um, some people like have notebooks and sketchbooks full of ideas for what they're going to put on a wall. I do that some, but I kind of like being spontaneous with it too. So I might have sort of the germ of an idea, but then really work out the details as I'm doing it. Everything seems a lot more boring. Uh, our culture is kind of stupid and vapid and I think that just simply putting this thing up where the whole world can see it for money or not, especially even if it's not, you know, just for the enjoyment of creating and showing the world, hey, I'm here. Even if nobody knows your name, nobody knows who did it, you know. And that's important to me. Just getting up, just getting up is, to me, it's a rebellion against the nine to five, clock in, clock out, nothing life that is kind of the norm. Life doesn't have to be this boring, dead, gray thing. You know, it, even if you're just looking at something interesting that makes you think for a second, that's, it, that's something, you know. It, it's, I would hope, to have an audience of people who don't think like me. Just any, it may even make a visual difference in, for one moment for someone is important to me. A lot of times, uh, my friends and I will just approach a wall with a blank slate and just see what happens. And there's a lot of fun in that too. I mean, that's kind of my approach to doing um, paintings on canvas and stuff as well. It's just as big a, a uh, a statement just to have some this an enormous piece of art in an otherwise gray and mundane landscape you know you turn a corner and holy crap look at this you know it's I think it's that's pretty cool I really I came to street art late um, I'm 42 now and it wasn't until maybe I was 38 39 that I started really noticing it and, and having that impulse to start doing that because I mean, just looking at like the trains and when I'm going through traffic on my work commute and I look at all the trains and how cool a lot of it, that is and just the, the pure expression of it. It's bam, get in there, do something huge that everyone's going to notice and you're out. And, and then it goes all over the place and everybody sees it. That's just, that's poetic to me. I love it.